before we hop into today's video, I have a special giveaway for you guys. Insert picture of the hex here. Um, I'm gonna be giving away this hex to one person. All I ask you to do is just please comment below and tell me what your favorite tournament was this year to watch. I'll be picking a winner next Thursday. I don't know the date, but a week from the day this video goes out. And I will announce the winner in that video. So. Thank you so much guys and let's hop into today's video. Hey everyone, how's it going? As I approach Northwood Park here, I'm going to pull in the parking lot. I have been the first injured disc golf play you'll see on the channel. I think I'm roughly 60% back to normal, maybe 70. I just can't throw full power hyzer flip shots without my back hurting significantly. So I'm not sure how that's gonna go. Um, and I've noticed from the rounds I've played thus far, maybe like four rounds that I've been hurt, that as I get going into the round, it usually takes me about two to five holes to really start getting into a rhythm. So no promises on some good play, might see some struggle, but either way, I'm doing a little match play thing today. Um, I'm really not sure yet if we're gonna film both people or just me. I'm not really sure, of, I don't know my opponent is what I'm trying to say. So either way, it's going to be a Northwood OG slash new blue layout. Um, so either way, you'll see that. So let's hop into it and let's hope I can uh, figure some stuff out. Let's make sure I get down there. There's a big there drop off behind the basket. The As you hear me say there, uh, I'm either acing it or going down the hill and down the hill I went. All right, so we both ended up throwing this hole. Hole two is almost like a musket hole, but it, it's kind of tight. As you see, I pulled my envy right into the tree. Those little flex shots have been really bad on my back, but they're getting better day by day. All right, so I normally throw a thumber on this hole, and whoops, I yanked it. Uh, this one's just up the hill. No matter how you can get up there, you just give yourself a putt, and uh, I found myself scrambling. So hopefully that was the only three holes I needed to warm up. Because those did not go very well. But we're gonna grind. Alright, so I said it's time to grind. As I said in the intro of the video, it, it usually takes me a few holes to get going. So I'm looking to uh, start a little birdie streak here on hole four. So it's just a high I'm throwing a runway here. The sunlight you see straight down the middle gap, uh, right where I'm skipping there, is right where you want to be. Leaving myself with about an 18 footer here. I scraped it in. So this one here is a par four you've probably seen before. Uh, you want to throw a flex forehand down the ravine and have it uh, come back out of the, the turnover. I threw my panic here on a great line. I just oh threw it a, a touch too low like. as I oh. demonstrate too low. So left myself with a nice little maybe 140 foot, 150 foot anode shot. Might be further because it's downhill, but either way, just good control there. I landed on the green as I stared on the camera and hit the gigantic putt. Uh, okay, so hole six, it's 322. I like to pop my Tesla out, uh, just kind of soft at that tree in the middle that I just went around. You can go either left or right of it and fade in. It will give yourself a great look at a birdie. Hole seven's a new hole here. You play to the old three golds basket as I hung my fireball out a little too wide there, but you'll see that it's the uh, old basket just across the ravine there. And so I'm going to talk over this a little bit. So as I'm in the match play here, I won the last three holes. Um, oh the shot there goodness. was a little bit left, but no big deal. I won the first three, so I'm up 3-0 at, at this point. Uh, I'm sorry, he won hole seven, so I'm up 3-1. to one. I've been through my matrix uh, for that shot there when I need to go kind of far on a stretch out um, with a wider angle. This seems to get me a little more distance. But here I am from about 31 feet. Feels good to hit those, and that one the hole there, so it's four to one. This shot right here hurts my back extremely bad, but I love it so much that I take a little pain. Matrix just beautifully uh, held that turnover for me, flips okay. out a little bit, leaving me at 34 feet. I didn't believe my rangefinder, so you know, don't trust the computer. A little manual labor would uh, ensure that I'm actually 34 feet. There we go. Nice center putt. Hole 10 is a little bit of an Anheuser. 
It's 272. Just threw it a little bit high here. Uh, the flick on this hole works, but if you flick it a little bit to the left. Sorry, I let myself talk about giving away a disc, which I'm doing anyway, so it doesn't matter if I make it or not. But if you flick your disc and you land a little bit short or left, you won't skip. And if you land by the pin, you skip a lot. So it's kind of the backhand I favor it. All right, so this is the old hole 13, hole 11 now. Uh, it's a good roller hole, but I'm just not feeling the roller yet. I actually got my disc turned over there, which is is a plus uh, as far as getting back to normal goes. Leaving myself with about 200 out. And I hit the tree by the basket with a terrible roll. But who doesn't love uh, 30 footers again? So hopefully I can pop this in. There we go. And move on to the next hole. I was able to win one after he took 10, I took 11. All right, we're sitting on 12. I think I'm sitting up five to two at the moment. Left that a little long with my nitro. I was able to pop it in there from an awkward lie. Uh, 13 here is a new hole as well. It's a very low ceiling shot. Goes around the woods to the right. I leave myself, I left it a little left, so I have like a 50 footer here. Just off the cage. I ended up winning the hole anyways. This hole's crazy. It's 325, but it plays like it's uh, like 380. As I'm explaining how I'm going to throw a flick roller. So you can see it takes a 90 degree turn at about 200 feet. My opponent actually ended up parking this hole, which is amazing. Wide. So I threw a weird little spin out shot. So I'm taking a four in this hole, but his two won it and he deserved it. 15 is beautiful. It's 328 downhill, tunnel shot. You see my matrix just stayed nice and straight. Set up there nice and close for a break. Alright, so our match was actually over at this point. Uh, however, I did not keep the score correctly. I was going to play no matter what, but there is the result of me trying to throw too hard. It comes out left, and I left myself with a horrible spot. If you've played this course, you know that this is like a musket par four. And I left that shot pretty poorly as well. But toss the it up there and just walk away with a par. <clears throat> Alright, hole 17. This shot I ended up throwing right into that tree and kicking right, which is terrible, but I actually got it to turn over, which is progress. So I figured I'm down here, the guy's already out putting for a birdie. Uh, I'm going to throw a Tesla just to try to give it a run. It's just a little right. I left myself about 35 feet long. And didn't give it a chance. You can't be doing that. It's 118. I'm just throwing a normal panic shot out there. About 50% power. Did the Michael Johansson. I was uh, confident with it being center cut. Leave myself with about 270 to the basket. And uh, grab the matrix and do what I do with the matrix. So this round ended up being a 52, six down. Um, I'll take it with it being you know my back injury. Don't forget to comment your favorite tournament you watched this year and uh, yeah that'll get you entered to win a new hex so guys thanks as always for watching and thanks to my sponsors plastic addicts mvp and paragon and i will see you guys in the next one